Coaches might not want to admit it, but the truth is that they have favourites. Most top coaches have those players whom they feel completely embody their style and philosophy, and if you let them, they would carry that player to every club they join. These are seven top coaches and their favourite players. The last one will really shock you, but let's start with Antonio Conte. He just finally got Romelu Lukaku to join him at Napoli, and that just confirms to us that the Belgian striker is his favourite player. You see, when Conte was Chelsea boss, he reportedly wanted Lukaku, but he didn't get him. So when he moved to Inter Milan in 2019, Lukaku was at the top of his shopping list, and he ended up being one of the first players he bought, signing him for 74 million euros. The pair cooked together for Inter. Lukaku scored a lot of goals playing under Conte, and they won the Scudetto. But Conte left Inter in 2021, and guess what? Lukaku also left the club that same summer to join Chelsea. Anyway, Conte was hired as Napoli boss this summer, and despite having an Italian golden boot winner and one of the best strikers in the world in Victor Osimhen, he insisted from the very beginning that he wanted Lukaku, and he didn't rest until the club signed him. Looking at their reputations right now, nobody in their right senses will choose to sell Osimhen to buy Lukaku. Well, except Antonio Conte. Romelu Lukaku is his dream striker, but Carlo Ancelotti's dream player is one that he no longer has in his squad, James Rodriguez. There can't be any arguments about this. The Italian boss really loved his Colombian orchestrator. He first signed him in 2014 at Real Madrid after the midfielder had such a brilliant outing at the World Cup, winning the Golden Boot and scoring the goal of the tournament. They didn't spend much time together there because Ancelotti was sacked only a year after. He then took a break from coaching and got back to it a year later by joining Bayern Munich in 2016. After a year there, he bought James to come join him in Germany, getting him on a two-year loan from Real Madrid. You know how much you have to love a player for you to agree to a two-year loan. And that wasn't even the end of that unique relationship. In 2020, just months after Ancelotti became Everton boss, he bought James to meet him once again, signing him for free following the expiration of his Real Madrid contract. That's three different times Ancelotti signed James Rodriguez at three different clubs. He probably brought up the topic of bringing James back to the Bernabeu after he returned to Real Madrid, and Perez probably shut it down immediately. But who would you say are Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho's favourite players. Take a guess in the comments and we'll see if we're on the same wavelength later in this video. But now, let's look at another Italian, Maurizio Sarri. His favourite player is obviously Jorginho. He first met him when he moved to Napoli and Jorginho was already a player there. Then, when Sarri moved to Chelsea, he pretty much dragged Jorginho along with him. No jokes, the very day Sarri was signed as Chelsea boss, he also completed the signing of Jorginho. He loved the player so much that he could not even wait a single day. They probably even got on the same flight from Naples to London. And at Chelsea, Sarri's whole team was built around Jorginho. Sarri ball had the Italian midfielder at the very heart of it. What about David Moyes? The Scotsman proved that his favourite player is Maru Anfellaini. He first signed the Belgian midfielder when he was at Everton, and when he got to step up to Manchester United in 2013, he brought Fellaini along with him, famously paying more more than his buyout clause and offering him a four-year contract. No doubt that that is Moyes' favourite player. We're sure that if he could have brought him to West Ham, he would have. Now, Pep Guardiola's favourite player is obviously Ilkay Gundogan. Obviously, there's a good shout for Messi, but he's an alien, so we'll leave him out of this. Among the humans, his favourite is obviously Gundogan. Pep was interested in Gundogan when he was the Bayern manager and the player was at Dortmund, but he didn't get him then. When he moved to Man City though, the German midfielder was the first signing he made. Then, after seven years and many trophies won together, Gundo decided to leave City and move to Barcelona. But one year later, Barcelona wanted to offload Gundo and Pep didn't even hesitate to give his go-ahead for the player's return. How many times have you seen Pep re-sign a player who chose to leave him? But Gundogan is just so different, man. Even the way Pep embraces him or talks about him and looks at him, you can just tell that they have a special connection. Meanwhile, Jose Mourinho's favourite player is very 
obviously Nemanja Matic, Portuguese first signed Matic in 2014 when he was Chelsea boss. Then, when he moved to Man United, he brought the midfielder along with him to Old Trafford. You think that's all? No way. When Mourinho moved to AS Roma, he still looked out for Matic and he brought him to Italy on a free transfer following the expiration of his Man United contract. So, Mourinho signed the Serbian midfielder three different times and at three different clubs. That is certainly his favourite player. Finally, Eric Ten Hag's favourite player is obviously Anthony. No jokes, that is just the truth. You see, 110.75 million euros have been spent on the transfer of Anthony since the start of his career, and all of that money has been spent by just one coach, Eric Ten Hag. It was Ten Hag who brought Anthony to Europe from Brazil in 2020. Then, in 2022, after Ten Hag was hired by Man United, he insisted so much on the signing of Anthony. He liked the winger so much that he convinced Man United to make him the third most expensive player in the club's history. Well, they're definitely regretting that a lot right now. Obviously, things aren't working out well for Anthony at Man United, so if Ten Hag gets sacked, don't be surprised if he takes Anthony with him to his next club. These are seven coaches and their favourite players. Feel free to keep the list going in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.